I am Armand Sánchez. I come from Autonomous University of Barcelona. I'm full professor of genetics at the veterinary school. So for years I have been working in molecular genetics, apply it to livestock, to animal genetics in general, particularly also for pets. And uh, 10 years ago, we started uh, some kind of services and uh, we launched a spin-off company from the university called Bet Genomics. So we have been for years involved in genotyping and sequencing, in particular with applied biosystems and after Thermo Fisher. I am using that for, in particular for, for canines because we have a panel, use it uh, for uh, individual identification. So we are involved in a project in Spain that uh, most uh, communities want to control uh, fecal samples in the streets for canines and uh, we developed a test that is not only for paternity or for individual identification, we include it in our panel also mitochondrial markers in order to know if a fecal sample is contaminated and contains more than one DNA from other animals because in general you can see that uh, dogs can urine over the fecal samples in the streets and uh, that panel is uh, tested for the last two years, it's working quite well, so we are very happy with that and for sure move the technology to genotype this panel from open array that is a technology that we have been using during the last two years to GBS is the next step that we need to do. Remember 15, 20 years ago when microsatellites started uh, to run in, in routine analysis in labs? So I remember that times that you can design and market your own primers and so on. And after what happened, it, uh, we got the possibility to get completely the kit with all primers labeled, all uh, control DNAs, all running well. So that's exactly the same. For, for sure, you can design your own panel using AmpliSec and using GBS, but if there is a tested kit that covers your needs, why not? So I am sure that will be at the commercial level one thing that most labs will adopt. The only point here is that still so many labs have capillary electrophoresis and they don't have the equipment to do GBS. But uh, that in the following years, uh, so machines are uh, decreasing prices in terms that uh, really, if you want to run in routine this kind of test, and you can put quite a high number of samples in a single run, that is a reality using AmpliSec and using uh, S5, for example. So it's, it's just the transition in most labs, how to move, that was exactly in the old times when we moved uh, from blood markers uh, to microsats. So it was exactly the same problem that most labs have not a capillary sequencer and so on. But reality was that 10 years later, so all people adopted the technology. So for me, this is the clear transition now. More and more, we can see that in hospitals. So in most hospitals now, they have uh, high throughput sequencing machines because they are in routine, they are testing uh, panels of markers for cancer or for other diseases. That's exactly the same that will happen in our, in our market. So for companion animals, so most labs will for sure adopt this technology. Don't worry about, uh, don't have fear. Uh, that is not uh, something so complicated. So if uh, you are in a lab that has been for years running microsatellites, for example, this is quite much more easier <laughs> to go and to move from sequencing uh, in order to genotype. Software is quite well developed. In particular, if you are using tested panels and you don't need to uh, put in order your own panel, that's the only problem that you need, is just get the machine in the lab, start to work with samples, and in case so, there are plenty of labs that can help you, and for sure Thermo Fisher can help you if you have problems for that.
You know that uh, I have been with the former Playa Biosystems for years. So I think my lab was the first one in, in Barcelona, I'm not so sure if in Spain, to get the first 300-10 machine, robotic PCRs and the first real-time machines. Uh, so for years I have been in relationship with Thermo Fisher. I always uh, get excellent um, relationships with uh, Thermo in terms of uh, when we have a problem and we can discuss uh, new approaches or new needs. And for sure, I, I, I hope that we will continue in the future with Thermo.